Hi, trombone players. Glad you're here. I'm going to teach you right now how to make a sound on your mouthpiece. All right, so let's talk about this for a second. The shape we're going to make with our face, like kind of our band face, is called the embouchure. And an embouchure is a fancy word that we use, and it's exactly the shape that your face makes in order to play an instrument. Okay, so that's what we're going to talk about right now. To make your embouchure, what you're going to do is keep your lips together, just like you said the word mom, mom. And I want you to take your pinky finger, put it on your lips, and blow it away like this, mom. Notice when I do that, mom, my cheeks are staying in, my corners are firm. That's my band face. Now, when you do that, I want you to check yourself and make sure your teeth are apart. They should be about the same far, um, the distance apart as my pinky finger. Or if I take my mouthpiece, okay? That's how far apart our teeth need to be. Mom, all right? Now, the next step, as we want our lips to be close together in order to vibrate. And our sound on a brass instrument is because our lips are vibrating together. So I go, mom. They're vibrating together to make that buzz sound. It's silly, but I want you to make sure you got that. Mom. And all my muscles here are working. Okay, so that's my embouchure for the trombone. Now what I want you to do is hold up your mouthpiece. Make sure you're holding it on the shank with two fingers on top and one finger on bottom. This way, and so that you're looking at it, you can put it up. This is the way I can see your embouchure when you're buzzing, okay? And what's very important in class. All right, so what you do is you're gonna just put this up to your lips. It's gonna go in the center of your lips. Blow through your mouthpiece right now. We're not doing anything fancy, anything weird with our air. It's just how we would breathe. Keep your shoulders down. Make sure you're sitting in ready and playing position. Nice and tall. Okay. Always breathe in through your mouth. Try to make that sound. Try it again. Ready and go. Now, if you're not getting a sound right now, maybe your lips aren't close enough together. My lips aren't close enough together to make that sound. Make sure your lips are close together, just like we say. Okay? Now, if my lips are, my teeth are tight together, it sounds like this. We don't want that sound. That's because your teeth are together. Okay, open up your teeth. It's the same distance apart as our shank or our, our, middle, our um, little finger. Okay, so when I buzz, when I'm playing the trombone, my jaw is about even. There, my my back jaw isn't isn't behind my front teeth very much. It's right there. I might need to push my bottom jaw out a little bit. Okay, one more time. Ready and go. So that's how we make just the sound on the mouthpiece. Now what I want to do is talk to you about making the bugs. And why I want, this is super duper important because this is our instrument when we play a brass instrument, okay, our mouthpieces. This makes the sound, that's the vibration, but this gives us all those notes. All right, we have to be able to do that before we play the trombone. Because when I play the trombone, I've got seven different slide positions that I'm going to teach you on the trombone, but I don't, I have a heck of a lot more than seven notes. So we have to know how to manipulate our sound on the brass instrument, on the brass mouthpiece in order to get all the notes that we need to get on the trombone. So how we start this is that we're going to buzz the bugs. When we buzz our mouthpiece sound, it kind of sounds like a bug. And so what I've decided is that we're gonna have three different bugs that we're gonna buzz, and we're gonna get the bugs out of our mouthpiece before we play our instrument. The first bug that we are going to buzz is our, is our, excuse me, our fly. And our fly is gonna fly across the room in a straight line, like this. It's not gonna fly in curly cues. It's not going to fly up a mountain or down that mountain. And it's definitely not going to fly into a wall. 
Okay, we want that fly to go straight across the room. You have to control your air in order to do this. Okay, so sit up nice and tall. We are in ready position, and then you're gonna go up to plane position. Shoulders down, always breathe through your mouth, really fast there. Here we go, one, two, ready, and go. This should just be a nice, easy pitch. Use really, really fast air. Okay, take your hand out and I want your hand to draw the line that that fly is flying in. Here we go, try it. One, two, ready, and go. Again, two, ready, and go. One, two, ready, go. Last time, two, ready, and go. So that is something you'll want to practice a lot, getting that fly in a straight line. Before we move on to the next bug, I want to talk about how the tongue. We're going to start the note with our tongue. When we speak, we say that we're, we use the T syllable, and our tongue goes up to the roof of our mouth. This is my tongue, this is the roof of my mouth, kind of right behind our T's, our, our teeth, excuse me. And we're going to say the word two, two. Everybody say the word two, two. You can do this with your hand if you want. Two, that is how we tongue when we play a brass instrument. We just put our, our tongue, just like we're gonna say the word two, and we release the sound, we release the air with our tongue. Uh. Two, two, it's exactly the same way, okay? So, right now let's go back to the fly, and I want you to start the note with your tongue. Get your tongue set, and we'll go one, two, breathe in, and two, Two, here we go. One, two, breathe in. So you're gonna run, two, breathe in, set your tongue. Two, again, one, two, breathe in. Again, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nice job. From now on, start the note with your tongue. Our next bug that we're gonna to go to is the mosquito. Notice there's three different size of bugs, and so there's three different pitches that we're gonna get. The mosquito is smaller, so it's gonna be a higher sound. It sounds like this. That's kind of high. I'll go a little bit lower than that. The important thing is that it's a higher sound than your fly. You don't have to match my sound. You need to get just a higher sound than your fly. Here we go. One, two, try it, ready, and go. Again, two, breathe in, ready, go. One more time again, ready, and go. Right now, in your house even, I want you to paint that fly going across, or that mosquito going across the room. Be honest, if it's going to, ah, you know, make sure you see it, because our goal is to have it go straight in the line. Try it again, one, two, breathe in. Oh. One more time again, and go. Oh. Go back to your fly, two, ready, go. Oh. Make go back to the mosquito, make sure it's a higher sound. In order to get that higher sound, you need to change, um, you make your lips tighter, we use faster air, and we wanna make sure we think of the word T. It's the back of our tongue that arches in order to make that sound. T, and that's what's happening to help us make that higher sound, okay? So think T, fast air, a little bit tighter, tighter lips. One, two, and ready, and go. Put a mosquito again and ready. Last time to and ready and go. Okay, so everything's nice and firm for the mosquito. It, our corners stay firm the entire time. Also, mosquito, even though the notes are going higher, we don't close our teeth. Okay, our teeth stay open. All right, hit that fly again. And now we're gonna go down to our low sound, which is our bumblebee. All right, our bumblebee is gonna have a lower sound. It's a larger bug, so it has to be a lower sound. Can you try that? One, two, and three, and four. In order to get a lower sound, it's like our jaw is like a door handle that we push down. We, we open it lower. Your jaw is like the door handle. 
and it opens lower. Okay. Oh, all right. I also like to think of it like my jaws, like an elevator and it's lowering. Um, when I play lower, I also push my bottom jaw out just a smidge. <laughs> Whatever instrument, brass instrument I'm playing, that kind of is what happens. Okay. I'm using a ton of air. The resistance has gotten a little bit less because we have a larger, um, space in our mouth. We're tall to get toe, toe is what should be happening. Oh, sound. Okay. Try this. Okay. So here was our fly. Uh, now we're going, uh, we want a lower sound. Here we go. Four counts on our bumblebee. One and two and ready and go. Uh, Paint this picture around across the room. Ready? And now again, go. Uh, Fly in a straight line again. Bumblebee, go. Uh, again, two, breathe in through your mouth. Uh, Last time, two, and ready, go. Uh, nice job. Okay, so in order to play our instrument, we have to be able to get the bugs out. And this is how we do it. It's by making those three sounds on your, on your mouthpiece. The fly, which is our middle sound, the mosquito, which is our higher sound, and the bumblebee, which is our lower sound. And what we're gonna work on <laughs> is having those different bugs meet each other and being able to move around all those sounds on our mouthpiece. All right, guys, great job. I can't wait to hear it.